Uh, next is Evan Bouchard. He's the 12th defenseman off the board right now, ADP of 73.8. Uh, last year, he was a, a, a breakout defenseman for one of us on this show. Um, and it didn't really materialize over the course of the season, right? We were expecting him to potentially take over as the top power play quarterback in Edmonton. It never really happened uh, early in the season. He was even like not playing a ton of minutes early on, and it was really concerning. People were wondering what they needed to do uh, with him. But all in all, the season turned out to be pretty solid. Eight goals, 32 assists, 40 points. Looked a lot like his year. Uh, year previous but uh, I know you've got some juicy stats on, on his production after the Tyson Berry trade and I know I again I, I'm not sure who talked about him as a breakout last year but obviously it was a little bit premature I know he's your breakout this year so instead of waiting until the second half of the show let's talk about uh, what you expect from Evan Bouchard this year just to give you an idea uh, and, and I, I I don't mean to step on your toes here at this if you're going to go through these numbers but um, in the first half of the year last year, 41 games, he had just three goals, 11 assists, 14 points, and was playing just over 18 minutes a night. So those were uh, some of the stats early on that people were like, okay, this guy's supposed to be great, supposed to break out. The power play was on fire, and he just wasn't really sniffing it. Yeah. Um, you know, you hit the major points. and He was my pick last year for the breakout defenseman. Um, and, you know, his production did balloon once he did get that promotion to the top power play unit. It just took a lot longer. Um, than we would have liked, but uh, the breakout did happen and, and not too many people are really tuned into that just yet. Um, so I'm really here just to tell you how good he was uh, following the Tyson Berry trade last season. He was one of the best uh, defensemen in hockey, at least in terms of fantasy hockey and in raw production. Following the Tyson Berry trade, Bouchard racked up five goals, 14 assists, 19 points over the Oilers' final 21 games. Um, if you want to nitpick that sample and say, you know, it came in the latter stages of the season when the bottom third of the league was checked out, uh, had shelled off their roster for prospects and picks, then uh, we can introduce you to the marvel that uh, was his 2023 postseason. Uh, in case you forgot, in just 12 games, Evan Bouchard scored four goals on 29 shots to go alongside 13 assists, good for 17 points from the blue line in just 12 postseason games. You really can't fake that kind of production against the best of the best in crunch time in the postseason. We witnessed the true breakout of Evan Bouchard last spring. And like I said, the fantasy community, just a little bit slow to recognize it. He's currently the 12th defenseman off the board on average. He's uh, the number six defenseman on my board. And I'm probably still too low on him, to be honest with you, um, just with, in terms of the upside that uh, Bouchard possesses going into this season. The potential uh, for him on this team, it's off the charts. I expect uh, a massive bump in ice time for him this season. He finished the year averaging 18 minutes and 31 seconds in the regular season. That jumped up to 23 minutes during that big postseason run. So I think that's where we can expect him to settle in around this season. Uh, and given his firm grasp on a spot on what is quite literally the best power play that we've ever seen, I think he'll have no problem replicating the production he flashed following the Barry trade last season. So I expect him to be flirting with a point per game all season long. Uh, and I think given his opportunity on that power play unit and his shot volume, I think he has 20 goal upside. Uh, he's missed just one game over the last two seasons as well. So you love to see that availability uh, and averages right around one block and, and hit per game as well. So nothing to write home about in terms of those totals. But on top of uh, everything else, he, he gives you a little bit of category coverage there as well. So current ADP of 76.1 uh, has him going in the seventh round on average. And I think we'll be talking about him as a potential top 20 pick next season. I'm loading up on as much Boussard as I can heading into this year and in more competitive leagues where I know um, other people are kind of on the same trail. I'm not going to hesitate to draft them two to three rounds above his ADP. So give me all the Bouchard stocks this year. Yeah, obviously he kind of feels like a player um, similar to like Jack Hughes last year where we knew like what was coming kind of right. But you just kind of don't know exactly how big the return can be. Um, and his, uh, his potential feels untapped, right? Like it, it, there's so much room for growth here. It, you know, if you look at those numbers from the second half of last year, like he could be a top three fantasy defenseman. He could be the number one fantasy defenseman this year. He really could. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it's like, it, it's hard to project that and rank him in such a spot, but it really like, no matter where you draft him this year, it almost feels like it's going to be you know, too late. Like it, he, he really just has so much untapped potential on that power play. And then you look at, at that Oilers blue line, not a whole lot to write home about, right? Darnell Nurse, obviously a big minute eater up top. They're probably going to be paired together. But behind those two, Brett Kulak, Cody Cece, likely Philip Broberg, Vincent DeHarnay, uh, Matthias Ekholm as well. You know, there there's some decent pieces there. Uh, but 
there should be you know a lot more minutes for Bouchard to go around here this year. Um, as you said, 23 minutes in the playoffs, that is a lot more like what we should be able to expect. And with that, should follow a breakout without question. 